Welcome guys to channel Oro Surgery. Today we have a Mercedes-Benz 2011 E350. We come on the tow truck today. So the customer is complaining because the steering is locked. And uh, when he pass the key, he has nothing on it. When he pass the key on the ignition. So guys, let's go with me and we could find out the complaint of your customers to see what's wrong with that vehicle this is the baby right here guys e350 mercedes-benz nice car yes this is a com convertible so now let's see let's pass the key on it just to see what this guy said about it Okay, as I put the key on it, they have no light on it. He said on the dash, take your key from ignition. Okay, so now on this, all right, so now the second thing, as he said, the steering is locked. Let me check the second complaint. Okay. The steering is locked. Now. I understand now. It seems like something that I knew before. I have been working on it. Something like that before. Here she is right here, is the front. Now, normally if the customer knew a few stuff before he bring it to me, he won't pay for the tow truck. But since he doesn't know, I don't blame him. We do the right thing. So now the best thing is, first I'm gonna show you guys a trick. This is the fuse box right here. Okay. On that starter relay, we're gonna remove it, the cap from the starter relay. Okay. Let's remove the cap from the starter relay. Then after that, it has another fuse in the back. The other fuse in the back is the brown fuse, which is like, this is the ignition fuses. Okay? So that second fuse, I will be removed that fuses. Let me take my flashlight to get some. Yeah. There she is, okay. So now, this is the fuse that I'm telling you guys. The brown fuses right here. This fuse right here. Let's remove that brown fuse. fuses right here. This is uh, 7.5. Okay. We take it out. The cap of that relay. I already, rep I already remove it. Okay. So we have to make sure we place it back at the same place so now that fuses that i remove you come with me in the front look what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna put the key on in the ignition okay as you could see here he showed me something different he said like abs and e sc Currently unavailable. Okay, so now when I put the key on, I go back in the front. I'm gonna reinstall that fuses that I remove in the back. You're gonna hear clicking. Okay. So that's clicking, this is normal. 
I'm gonna remove it again like for 10 to 20 seconds. Okay, 10 to 20 seconds. I'm just gonna put it back after 10 to 20 seconds just to make sure as you guys could hear that click okay so now what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna use that starter relay here i'm gonna i'm gonna make the vehicle start and this condition if your steering is not locked you have a choice to bring this vehicle to your technician to your garage that you trust okay but on his condition his steering was locked even though he knew how to do it that won't work unless if you knew another step how to unlock the esl with the hammer you have to hit really hard on the steering column so now i'm gonna press this button here that click that made the connection you see so the vehicle is starting now okay that baby is running so that's mean it's not a batteries issues problems so now in this condition as i see the vehicle is start Okay, my baby is running. So that's mean it's not a batteries issues problems. So now, in this condition, as I see the vehicle is start now. What I'm gonna do now? I'm gonna turn off this vehicle. As you guys can see, the dash is nice, clean. Okay, the radio is wa the, wa the, the the radio is working. As you can see, everything is working nice. But the steering still lock. I'm gonna use a hammer. I'm gonna hit it really hard in the bottom down here. So down there. He has a few down there has a few school to unschool which is like a few of uh, those kind of I have to unschool I already unschool this one here I'm gonna use a hammer to hit it down here to this guy here to the col steering column because the ESL it's under here okay the ESL is under here I'm gonna hit it very hard with the hammer just to unlock the steering column then when I unlock it I will replace the ESL and I will reprogram the key as well then reinstalling the ESL and the vehicle will be normal okay so first thing is first thing first we just gonna turn off the vehicle as soon as I turn off the vehicle even though I want to start it it can't you see I turn it off when I turn it off even though I want to start no, it's not gonna start. It's not gonna start. This is normal. But I don't recommend if you're not a technician, do not do it. You could mess up any computer in this vehicle. You have to know what you're doing. Okay? Please be extra careful on that. So so now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my hammer. I'm gonna hit on the bottom here. 
with this stain column then to remove it first i'm gonna finish to remove this body here to have more space on it to work on it to take it out the esl i will be replace the esl then uh, put a new one first thing I'm, i have to put my camera down because i cannot use i need my two hands to work when i finish to remove all this and then when i make the steering moving i will show you guys guys all right okay now i remove this piece down here I'm just gonna go show you where I was gonna. Oh, this is this. It's actually here on the foot. I'm gonna drop that steering column down. There's one guy here. Another one over there. I'm gonna remove it. I believe he has the two. We'll hold it. Just drop this guy down. Then after that, I'm gonna pass my hand behind it. To take that ESL down, a hole by one but and I believe he has another one right there. Has one to drop that staring down. Okay, so let's take this guy down right now. Yeah. Let's take him down. to hit this is the part you hit with the hammer really hard you hit it hard so he's moving he's unlocked so now I'm taking out those tucks who hold this thing column I'm gonna take him down he has another one who hold it I'm gonna remove it down here. You don't have to be removed completely, but you just lose it as it can come out. Okay, guys, it's right there. There she is. As you guys can see, I already take out the the nut and I unplug it already. I just time to make that baby come in out. There she is right there. All right. I'm just going to show you guys where she's located. Inside here. Right there. I already unplug it. And uh, this guy there. It's not easy to remove, but they have a way to press this little nut here with a long L. If you have a little long L, you could press it. It could come with much easy on that one here. So this is it. You just need to be remove it all right okay guys this is the baby right there she's right there she is. and she is right there come on There we go. Oh. That's the baby right there. 
this is ESL. The main problem this thing has, when you guys finish to take it out, this guy, he's not easy to come out. You see my, you see my arms here? Oh my God. You see, you see my arms? It's not easy because that 13 boat is tight right here to this guy and she was like that inside that plug plug in here and then best thing is when you press this one that's the one here as you guys can see this piece so I have to use that Allen key to push it down once it's push it down and I hold it once I hold it down like that I make sure since I take out two of those steering column screw the two one in the front and the two in the back I just lose it I didn't lose it Completely, I just lose it. I didn't take it out. I just take the two in the back. Then here we go. So now, when I was telling you guys to hit, this is the part here, right here inside. So now, this will be replaced to a new one. Okay, so now my order will be coming tomorrow. I will continue the video as soon as I receive the pot. There you go, guys. This is how it, it look like. I have to remove the steering wheels. I have to remove... Oh, this is pieces right here. The, the airbags as well. Over there. So now... I'm gonna replace this guy so I have to bring all these pieces to be reprogrammed the keys to make sure if the key is not defected then the key wasn't defected everything was good and uh, this guy is here too as well which is like a only double check everything is looking good only one thing that we have to be replacing this is it so we have replacing the ESL to that little chips right here. So this is the one. So we have this steering wheel will never lock. This is lifetime warranty. I'm just gonna plug it up down here. Then uh, that's it. Okay, I have to put my camera down guys to put everything back and so as soon as i'm finished to put everything in then i will show you guys what's the end how the end look like okay just gonna connect it, this one on the back this way now she is She's in. Just make sure everything is connected good. Now we just put this guy in. We just turn it as a clockwise. Okay. So this take a special tools on that one. If you don't have the special tools, just like just like me, I don't have the special tools. I take two flat school driver. Okay, I take two flat school driver, and then I put it on it and to tie it up. Two flat school driver, one over here, one on the top, and then we just tie it a little bit on this. All right. I'm just gonna to tie it. I have to put the camera down and then to tie this one down. Okay, I just finished, put this guy in. So now, 
this is the main guy here. I'm gonna put this guy before before I put this guy in first. I have to put that little cover from here. I have to leave my phone down again to fix this one perfectly the right way. It's another guy. It's inside. Stay here. It's gonna be connected to him. It will go that way. Like that. I have to put this camera down to put it in. Here she is, guys. Put it nice and make it sit the way the same way that you take it out, the same way you just put it back again. So now this plug here. We're gonna put this guy here now. Alright, this plug will connect it to here. Alright? So now we're just gonna go nice and easy before we do everything we have to plug that plug first we plug it up then we clip everything back on I'm, okay one moment guys this is how i connected this all right guys so now we just slide this one in to put it completely stuck and here before connecting the steering it's time for the steering wheels now let's make sure put it straight when I take it off I put some little bit mark right here and the top just to match with the one that I have Place it straight, then put the nut on it. It's time to connect it, this guy. Remember, guys, every time you guys connect it in Apex, always please disconnect the battery. Okay, disconnected the battery, don't take chance. Okay, don't take chance on it. That could deploy any second on you. Always disconnected. With that, you'll be fine. All right? So it's time to plug that sexy. Yes. Let's do it. And the back of this guy here, this is a T27. Okay, guys. That's a T27. We have two screws in the back. One on the left, one on the right. We're just going to go here. And tie this guy here. It's right there. I always start with hand tie first before I put the ratchet on it. Okay, so take for the other one. Now it's time to plug it up. That sexy right here. Let's go here. Here she is, right here. Nice. 
Let's see then. That one here, I'm just gonna hold it with a tie up. With a tie up on it to hold it here, and it should be fine. So now, let's start that sexy right here. Before we start that sexy, I'm gonna connect it my battery first. Yes, let's gonna connect the battery. I'm gonna put this down again. Okay, guys, so the battery is connected. We are set now. It's time to start that sexy right here. There we go. This is what I didn't have before, but this is what I have it already. So now, boom, you guys see? Boom. This is it. All right. So guys, thank you so much. She's looking good now. I'm just gonna put in all those pots and the bottom. I'm gonna put under here. Then after that, I'll do a little bit old test on it. Then we're good to go. This is how I do it. She's right there. Okay. Put them right here. See? Hold it. So now it's time to just put in this piece here. Just gonna put that guy. Just gonna connect it. Everything in the bottom. That's it. Guys, everything has done. Finish. Just like I was telling you, because everything gonna look nice, sexy. I'll be marching everything from the bottom to the top. We're looking good. I just finished to do a wood test. Everything look great, look nice. I enjoyed my ride. So now she's ready to go back home yes thank you guys for watching the video hopefully that video could help a friends family member please share that video subscribe thank you guys remember jesus is coming soon